there, VPs. Happy Sunday. Uh, today is Vlogtober Day 18. And I am getting ready to head over to Candace's apartment for a little while, just really to get out of the apartment. Um, and I was laying here, I was getting sleepy and stuff, and I was like, let me move around for real. It is extremely nice outside. Yeah, it's extremely nice out there. It's like 70 degrees. It was like a really nice, cool breeze this morning when I took the dogs out. Um, I don't know if I still need the jacket or not, but it's important for me to stay, uh, as warm as I possibly can when it gets cold like this or when it starts getting cool because it doesn't take much for um you know for me to start hurting because of my spine surgeries but all right let's go oh, start. Yes, I did. Don't start. Candace, you we had a whole argument about this yesterday <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to go to the fall she's talking about why would you pay to get in a bar while we got free bars no what I said was free bars no listen what I said was Y'all, there go Felicia. Listen, listen. Miss, been missing in action. It costs ten dollars a person to get in, in the fall. You call light skin. So <laughs> I told Felicia, why are we gonna spend twenty dollars just to get in somewhere? Then you gotta buy drinks. Yeah. But that didn't mean I didn't want to go. I could I tell just... you had something on your lashes. Yeah. I put, I put eyelashes on. Oh, this is a um, it's a Samsung um, WD WB eleven hundred F. Yeah, I, I love this camera. I bought this right before I went to Vegas. And so I've been using it to vlog, but I had been using... cameras are really good. Yeah, they are. I had been using the other one because it has the flip screen. But this one is so much better quality, though. I got to adjust it for outside because outside, you almost look like a white girl right here now. <laughs> it needs to be adjusted. It's not adjusting on its own. <laughs> You had a dream you was black. Yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> it can't be right. Yeah. That's be funny. Right. That can't be right. That's funny, yeah. yeah. Did you have a little swag to your walk? Yeah. I didn't know who to hang with. It's all that soul he got inside That's of him. I'm going to have to find a new crowd. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh man, y'all. It is so nice. I so nice out here. here. I, why are you in my purse? I was trying to see if you had <laughs> it, in that spray was in there. No. Oh. Oh, thank you. Yes. See, she making up to me, y'all, because yeah. me and Felicia really was She's gonna have a talk. But no, we were gonna have a talk. We still really? are. Oh, y'all jamming over here. Why does it look so far away? I wonder if it looked like that. Hey, pumpkin. Hi, pumpkin. She been sweet. Like, <laughs> she been acting like a baby. She not going something. in heat again, is she? I don't know, but she been acting like a baby. Really? That's how they act when they go in heat. <laughs> you haven't even been watching my vlogs no more or nothing. Y'all, my daughter-in-law don't even love me one, no more. Um, what it called? You gonna call for me or something? Oh yeah. You gonna get me, talk to me? You, uh, you gonna come for me? You should yeah. know that your love is always on my mind. They put a put somebody on the phone. He ain't on the stand, huh? He like, he said, what? <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. 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 Like well, you know, I had a really weird phone call the other day. <laughs> I don't like when they, like, I don't want to be rude, but sometimes I'd be like, can y'all put somebody on the phone that can speak better English? Well, you know what? I had, okay, I had called Time Warner because I told them I was supposed to have a phone line, right? And I, like, I tried to plug it into the phone jack and I didn't hear a dial tone. So they told me that I'm supposed to plug my phone into the modem, which is stupid, like, so my phone's supposed to be on the floor in the living room, like by the next to my TV. You know, anyways, so that Weird. same day, so I went ahead and plugged the phone up. That same day, I heard a phone ringing. So I go and pick it up, and it's this guy, this Middle Eastern guy, and he's telling me I'm calling from some, it sounded like he said Vindal Company has something to do with Microsoft. 
and he was like the last two or three days your your computer has been sending out a signal saying something about your it's your security is not working i need for you to go shut down your computer and we're gonna go over some numbers i'll read it to you i said oh hell no i said that don't even sound right he told me roger he told me that he wants me to go shut down the computer and then he's gonna go over some numbers with me and all that i told him to hold on i hung up the phone i said you, that's no, like, that's, that's first of all, yes, because first of all, if I had an issue, if my computer was having an issue security with uh, Microsoft, I would have had pop-ups on my computer to tell me that. Not a random phone call, somebody sounding like they calling from Afghanistan, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, no, I'm like, you think I'm stupid? <laughs> like, you know, it's like, you think I'm stupid? You think I'm going to go shut down my computer and read you numbers and so stuff to help you hack into my, my laptop? I don't think so. And then I have my YouTube videos and stuff through that, through my, you know, ordering stuff online and all that. Oh, hell no. Okay, this is, you got room over there. It's crazy. Yeah, exactly. Like, how dare you? You know, how dare even you even think that I would even fall for something like that? Don't call my house asking me to help you um, tap my. Um. <laughs> Lola. Pumpkin's like, what about me? Already said hi to Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Hi, Pumpkin. Looking like your mama. Looking like your mama. Lola. Hi, Lola. Pumpkin can jump that gate if she wanted to. Uh huh. Pumpkin ain't trying to. Right. <laughs> I don't know what she trying to smell. Some fresh air. That's a good idea. When did y'all start putting the gate right there? Mm -hmm. We just do it whenever we want to hear our music out here. Mm. Like really? Like she couldn't just settle for something nice? I know. It was. It didn't even look modern or anything. We're talking about Black Ink, y'all. Do y'all watch Black Ink? <laughs> Duchess, she getting on, getting on my nerves. I mean, yeah, I can understand her. Like, you know, she wants somebody that's going to support her, but she's wrong because it's like she act like she think that it's only supposed to go one way. They supposed to support each other, not just her. But yeah, Felicia's saying she can't wait to see it because apparently Duchess is about to get played. She's about to get busted out. They said something about she slept with almost everybody in the shop. Who was it that said it? Somebody in um Stop Ray Self Talk. Go sit back and judge about you. This shit is good to me. Yeah. She is. Got like, oh, they gonna bring out the truth about her ass. Oh God, and they probably wasn't even expecting that. Duchess and um, what's his name? Siege. Yeah, Siege. They probably wasn't even expecting that. Please, I am back home. It's really very nice out here. It's um. It's in the 70s, if I didn't tell y'all that earlier. Very nice. I'm just cooking myself some dinner. I came home so I can cook. My puppies are so happy to see mama. You happy to see mama? Yeah. That's Dewan's makeshift um, ashtray right there. Oh. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it looks like oh, y'all's dog bowls are empty, huh, papa? Man, I wish y'all had, I wish we had smell of vision on here so y'all can, on these cameras, I'm making me some pepper steak. You know, I'm a meat and taters, I mean, not meat and taters, boy, that too, but meat and gravy, oh, gravy is my weakness. All right, yeah, here it is. There it is. So that's the steak. I have 
the bones. I have a lot of bell peppers and onions. Yeah, that's pepper steak. I got my recipe for my pepper steak from my mother and it actually tastes really, really good. Actually, the more bell peppers and onions you put in it, the better. So yeah, like I said, I wish y'all had smell vision so y'all could smell what I'm smelling right now, y'all, cause oh, it's smelling um, really, I really think good. today, for a Vlogtober day, I think it's 18. Let me look. <laughs> Let's see here. <sighs> Vlog This is the list that I pull up. And yeah, it's October day eighteen. And it is fall house decker. Oh, that's not. Ooh, that's real blurry. Yeah, it's not focusing. But it is um, fall house decker. I really did not decorate um, anything fall in here. The only thing I've bought, I've done is I bought myself my ginger snap candle. I bought myself a little throw, and usually it's folded up really nicely and slung up here. Um, so that when I'm chilling out here and it's a little cool, I can get real comfy with my my throw. Um, yeah, so I mean, besides, you know, the smells, I got the candle and then I've got the wax cubes or what have you. Um, is that what you call them? Wax cubes? The scented ones? But anyways, I have it in like pumpkin spice and all of that. I'm starting to feel oh, sleepy. Oh, all right. Anyways. Oh, uh, that's what I need to do. I need to take my sinus medicine. I feel like my sinuses, allergies is bothering me a little bit today. But yeah, um, I can't wait to eat. It's smelling good. You know what, guys? I know um, I'm just in the kitchen cooking. But um, I was just sitting here thinking, you know, when I was younger, I used to like be afraid of being by myself but I never really wanted to admit that you know because my mom used to say that to me all the time and I would get kind of like defensive but I realize now that I'm older and I've gone through some of the things that I've gone through that maybe I was a little bit afraid I don't know if afraid is really the word um I think that Okay, I think that when you go through something like, you know, um, three surgeries on your spine, like, things get real, real. You know what I mean? Things get real, and in that process, I've just learned how to appreciate life um, a lot better than what I used to. Um, I used to just take life for granted, and now I don't really take life for granted anymore. I appreciate everything about life. I appreciate the birds, I appreciate the, the trees. I appreciate seeing the wind blowing through the trees um, and the leaves. I appreciate those things so much more now. And I also, in that, I also appreciate my peace. Like, being happy and being peaceful with yourself and with your life is so important. Now, I'm still working on being peaceful with my life. And the reason why I say that is because of the pain and the hurt that I went through in my marriage, you know, where I was completely um, betrayed. I'm still working through that, you know, through that pain. Um, but as far as, like, just appreciating and like loving my life I've come so far in that I remember being so down in the dumps and being completely depressed I went through that um, not long after my surgeries and stuff being completely depressed and you know when when someone tells you that 
if you fall or if you have an act if you have a major fall or if you have an accident a car accident or something like that that there is a real possibility of you being paralyzed for the rest of your life you learn how to appreciate there's been times really when i cool. found myself completely alone and all i did was be depressed and cried and cried and cried and it didn't help that it was completely gloomy out there you know, when I started off this conversation just now, I didn't start off the conversation with the hopes of talking about uh, depression, but it leads me to talk about depression because there's a lot of people out here that deals with depression. And, and they let me deal tell with you, it alone. like, depression is very difficult to deal with alone. Um, I found myself where I had no friends around, I had nobody around, like I was forced to have to deal with my depression. And the only thing that got me out of my depression was God. Like, I mean, I know that sounds so, to me it sounds so politically correct for you to say God, right? But you really have to deep, you have to look deep down inside of yourself when you get into a situation like that because I mean, you might as well put all your faith into your higher power, which in my beliefs is God, the most high God. And what else do you have to lose? You know what I mean? Everything else is like spiring out of control. So you have, you feel like you feel helpless, you feel hopeless. And so what else do you have to lose other than, to, or what else do you have to lose to just put all of your faith and your trust in God? When you do that, then you'll start finding yourself coming up out of that spiraling, that, that staircase that just spirals and it only goes one way and that's down. I've been there. And once you allow yourself to get depressed, I'm speaking for myself on this. Once I allow myself to get like really depressed, it's so hard the key is to back. not let yourself get that far into your depression before you get help. You know, for me, like I said, it was God. You know, um, talking to God, always just constantly talking to God, crying, calling out to the Lord. That's what got me through. You know, some um, people need to go to counseling or go talk to their doctor or talk to someone, you know, um, don't let depression get the better half of you. I don't know. Like I said, I, this conversation, I did not mean it to actually start off or, or to mean it to end up talking about depression, but in my spirit, something is telling me that maybe there's someone out here that's looking at my blogs that, you know, you're not alone. You're not alone. Depression will make you feel that you're alone, but you're not. And like, like I tell, I like to tell my story because it's so real. I mean, not everyone has been through what I've gone through and I haven't gone through what everyone else has been through. You know, um, you're, you got to understand that there are people that have been through things that are far worse than yours. And I know that that doesn't really exactly help you when you're in the midst of depression, you know. But I can tell you that there's people out there that understand how you feel. And there's people out there that if you just reach out to them and let them know that you're depressed and let them know how you're feeling, that they can actually So help you. don't suffer through okay. depression alone understand that there's people that like me for instance you can look at my life I've gone through a total of four spine surgeries the past three has been within the past year as a matter of fact I'm coming up on an anniversary on the 29th and again on November the 6th of two of them so you know that's getting in my throat <coughs> so just look around and try to be more grateful for the things that you have because some people some people are sleeping on the streets tonight you know some people don't have food to eat or have food to cook they don't so just remember that okay all right, all right guys i just came back so i can show you what i'm working with right here there is my food right there yes it's about to go the 
fuck down. Hey guys. <laughs> Outside with the dogs. <laughs> Doing our evening walk. My favorite walk. Ooh. Yeah, so we're just chilling. Come on. Hi. Guys, I want to give a big shout out to Miss AC. Um, I think it's Miss AC Vlogs. I'm not sure. But um, for her, the full name of her channel is already in my description box under my friends um, vlog channels i'm giving her a huge shout out right now everybody say what's up to her go check her out she shared several of my videos several of my vlogs on google plus and i totally appreciate that thank I you miss ac getting ready to end this vlog i got my little, little robe on and my gown but yeah, I'm getting ready to end the vlog. Um, I was going to do my, um, what is it? What if? Oh, I was going to do oh. my <laughs> would you rather tag, um, but I'm feeling a little sleepy today. I was trying to take a nap earlier and I just decided to just get up. And so I did and I never did take a nap. So um, I think I'm kind of ready to just kind of lay it down and relax. Um... I, did, I know I did a lot of talking <laughs> earlier on here, so I really I did not necessarily to, want to get back on here and I talk some more, to, run my mouth some to, more. I don't think I've really vlogged that much today, but a lot of times when I think that I didn't really vlog that much, when I go to edit, I realize that I actually vlogged more than what so, I thought. Anyhow, I hope everyone had a wonderfully blessed Sunday, fun day, fam day and um yeah and again if you're new to my channel i so appreciate you guys welcome 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 to the family just so that you know i call my subscribers my vps my sweet peas sweet vps like peas yeah <laughs> and um yeah so if you hear me say that you know i'm and, talking um, about you um so my subscribers are my big piece that's been with me for a long time from the beginning i appreciate you guys i love you guys welcome when you see um you know subscribers that um comment and say that they're new to the channel or they're a new subby i would love for you guys to please go ahead and just welcome them okay all right <laughs> so anyways y'all have a good night don't forget to thumbs up my vlogs and share them share them across social media and i told y'all before i know i've only said it once though so i'm just gonna remind y'all that if i see that you have shared any of my vlogs at all and you tag me whether it's my Facebook fan page or just my Facebook page, all my social media links are below. Then I will go ahead and make sure that I shout you out in my next video. Alright? Alright. Good night, guys. Deuces.